I love my, my day lilies, and uh, I know a lot of you out there love them too. And it's a great time. Once they are, they're done flowering, it's a great time to now cut them and divide them, and you'll have even more day lilies than you've had before. That's right. When you've got those clumps, a lot of times they get compacted and they don't flower as yeah. much. And then all of a sudden it's a... Crowded. Yeah. And yeah. and like I planted some daylies. I, I installed them with uh, my son Carl and my son-in-law Steve. Um, I've been talking about Melissa oh, yeah. since the Quite beginning of this show. Anyway, yeah. that, so they've got... They have a house now and a baby. I'm a grandpa. Oh. <laughs> I've said that a lot. <laughs> I don't want to be one of those annoying grandmothers, yeah. but he laughed for the first time last week. Oh, for you? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. come on. Wow. Listeners out there, isn't that the coolest thing? Like when you hear yeah. your grandchild, your first grandchild uh-huh. giggle? Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Anyway, so we planted their landscape. Oh, yeah. And that we put in dailies. Oh. Wow. They were sad. They were sad, and and that it's just because it's the time where they're coming off flowering. They've gone through their flower cycle, and they just kind of look, eh, you know. And and some of them that we we put in were just con- really root bound in the pot, and that can happen in the ground. It so how how do you how do you do it? You double your you can double or triple the dailies you have, um, and and here's how to divide them. Uh, first of all, fan of daylilies. Fan. That's a joke because a fan of daylilies, you can see where it looks like a little fan, like where actually you'd like use it, you know, it. use it to when on a hot day yeah, to, yeah. and that it's part of the root system and that that's what you're ultimately getting to. And don't try to split it while it's in the ground and, and then pull it up. Dig out the whole clump. You're going to dig out the whole clump, pop it on the ground. You got to get rid of the soil. Get as much soil off as you can. Um, and you can be, you can do this anytime. The soil is workable, and it's best done right now after the daylily has finished blooming. And also, the plants need six weeks to get reestablished before winter. So now is a perfect time. So. Dig up the entire root clump. Remove as much soil as possible from the roots. You can even, like, dunk them. You know, you can do some waterboarding of the roots in the in the bucket to get more of that soil off. And then you're going to locate the crown of the plant. The, the crown of the plant is basically where you'd say, holy, what, the, where the soil, the, meets the, the soil meets the root. Yeah. Right. So that's the crown. You want to be careful that you don't uh, damage the crown. So once you locate that, you're going to start from the ad, the outer edge of the soil, and you're going to break it into smaller clumps. You should have got three to four plants, and each clump should have you know good root system and a few leaves. And again, that's where it comes where it's a fan where where it, it literally looks like a. F- a fan, a handheld fan, not an electric fan, a handheld fan where, you know, you you, are, you probably have them, you, you use them down at the Presbyterian Church down here, or do you guys have air conditioning? We have air conditioning. Yeah, you're a rich church. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, like you see in, say, like Japanese culture where they have fans and it looks, it looks like that. And it consists of just a, a few leaves. Um, you're gonna you're gonna have a fan that probably oh gosh it's gonna be maybe six to eight leaves but it 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 comes from again the the root system and you can divide them and that's as far as you go no more no more look you don't have to have to divide all the fans on your first go I would just kind of split up the root system so you have smaller clumps if you start there. Then the next time they need to be divided, you can start with the fans. But when our growers grow them, they start right with fans. Like they're putting small little fans. sections in and then growing it from there. You want to cut the leaves back about a third. Um, they're going to be end up being like five to six inches uh, long. 
and then you replant them. And you're going to replant them uh, in the ground. You're going to use some bumper crop. You're going to make sure that you don't bury the crown. Okay, we talk about the crown again. You just want them to be buried so that they're right up to that point. And that's it. You don't want to bury the crown. And again, that's where the root system uh, meets the top of the leaves. So you don't want to go uh, too deep. And also, you want to share them with friends. Oh, yeah. But sure. got to plant them, right, Julio? Right. Plant it for them. Plant it for them. That's right. So if you're going to say, hey, I, I brought you some of my daylilies. I know that you said how pretty they were. Um, where would you like me to put them? Yeah. Bring yourself a shovel, get them in the ground, and plant them. And then every time they see them bloom or they see them grow, and dailies are perfect because they're easy to grow, that they will say, wow, I got that from Len. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, usually say, well, right. yeah. anyway. <laughs> so, <Now you> do. <laughs> anyway, uh, so get out there, divide your day, your day lilies, and you can, oh, again, yeah. it's, it's, it's again, you probably, you know, going to be two to three times as, as many out of one. And, so. it's, and it makes a great impact when you have more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That you just, can, you know, don't start doing head, like basically borders. Borders, yeah. Things like that. Very nice. Great, uh, Very nice.